Hello and welcome to this video on how to add Jira information into a Confluence page. Many groups will have both tools, which makes sense because Jira is where I work and Confluence is where I make content and look up information. And being able to include information from Jira directly in Confluence makes a lot of sense. It can help reduce a lot of friction as people are looking for information or trying to figure out what work is going on. So here, we're gonna see how we can grab Jira tickets and put them directly into a Confluence page. Here we are in Confluence Cloud Premium, but these tricks should work in any flavor of Jira or Confluence. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go to a space and make a brand new page. For this example, I'll just create a very quick one. I'll just call it Jira Integration. And here we have a very basic page. Now what I'm gonna do is add a new macro. I'll use the forward slash on my keyboard and I'll just type in the word Jira. And you'll notice I have a lot of different things I can do. I can pull in issues, I can create issues, I can do some other things, but right now I'm just gonna click on this first one. And a window's gonna pop up that will look familiar if you use Jira. This will let me search for Jira tickets. I might just hit search and this will pull in everything, all 29,000 issues in this instance. But for this example, I'm just gonna focus on the Platt project. So I'll click on project and I'll just type in Platt. And that's my platform development, check the box. And now I'm only seeing the issues that are in that project. I'll keep filtering this down a little. Maybe I only wanna see bugs. And here I have two bugs that are in the done status. But maybe I don't like these columns. I can click on this icon on the right and add or remove columns. Maybe I don't care about the type because I know they're all bugs. And maybe I wanna rearrange them. I want updated before status and priority right before summary. So I can click and drag the columns as I need to. I can also change this to show an inline link which would just show the number of search results, so two issues. However, in this case, I wanna give more information to the people on this page. And I can also use JQL if I wanna find tickets just by clicking this box right here. So I'm happy with my tickets. I'll just click insert issues and there we go. Right away, I have a very quick list of tickets. There are a few other ways to use this macro though. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll just type in forward slash Jira, click on issues. This time I'm just gonna pick a single issue, maybe just the first one. And here, maybe I just wanna display the summary. I only want one piece of information off that ticket. So I'm gonna go in and just type in description and make sure I have that in here, but then uncheck the rest of the fields. Here, I just have the description for that ticket. So if I insert this, now I'm pulling in just that information directly onto my Confluence page. This is another way I've pulled in just certain pieces of information off of tickets. Now when this is updated on the ticket, it will be updated immediately in Confluence. And this is great because when I have pages built out like this, displaying information about a sprint or a project, I don't have to worry about updating the list of tickets. It just happens automatically because I'm using this integration. So that's how to do it. Just open up a Confluence page, hit that forward slash, type in Jira and click on Jira issues to import Jira issues directly onto a page and then it will update in real time. If you like this, please like it and subscribe. Let other folks know. Please use the comments to ask questions or let me know what else you're interested in. And thank you so much for taking time to learn a little bit more about this with me. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video soon. Thank you.